G'day. This time we're looking at this uh, interesting integral. Again, uh, no trig functions, no exponential functions involved. So it could be related to a power of x or it could be a logarithmic structure. Let's test for logarithms first because we do have a fraction. What is the derivative of the function on the bottom? Well, the answer is it's 2x plus 2. Now that's interesting. 2x plus 2 is 2 lots of x plus 1. And x plus 1 is exactly what we have on the top. So apart from the constant 2, this is the derivative of that. And that's the exact pattern we need for a logarithm. So if this was what we had to do, had to find, we would write x plus 1, x squared plus 2x minus 17, dx. And to make sure that we had the right pattern, we would need to multiply this by 2 and to compensate by dividing by 2 out the front. A half of 2 is 1. It's not going to make any difference to the value of the integral. And therefore, our result will be 1 half and this entire integral now, because the top now is exactly the derivative of the bottom, will be the logarithm of x squared plus 2x minus 17 plus c. And I like writing this not with the fraction at the front, but with the 2 underneath. Uh, that would be my preferred method. You could take this inside, as a, if you know your logarithms, as a power of a half. So log of the square root of x squared plus 2x minus 17, but I think that uh, could be a bit messy with substitution and the like. This is probably the best way to leave it. Uh, so whichever is your preference, but that's how we would uh, tackle that particular integral. Thank you very much for watching.